Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a good day. Um, this week's lesson has to do with form. I'm going to tell you, we did shape before, which makes it look like it's flat, and form is going to be a little bit more three-dimensional. So I'm going to show you how to do that. There's a lot of different ways, a lot of different things you can color. I'm going to do a pumpkin because I'm kind of in the fall uh, mood. So I'm going to start with a nice big circle in the middle. And then I think I'm going to do a couple pumpkins. So I'm going to come along here and do some that look like they're behind the first one. And I'm going to put a little horizon line in there so it looks like we're standing on the ground. And some lines. And then... After we have these all drawn, you want to make sure it fills the whole space. It's a lot easier to color it when you do things nice and big. I'm going to take some colors. Pumpkin. I, this, these are the colors I'm going to use for my pumpkin to make it look three-dimensional. I don't know where my yellow went. Somebody must have. Uh, so I'm going to start. You need to think about where you would see sunlight. So I'm going to start in the middle. And I'm going to lightly do this because we're going to blend these. And if you go do it, if you start too dark, you're going to have a problem blending it. So just do a little bit. And there's lots of different ways to do this. This is just the way that I learned how to do it. But you are, you can experiment. And that's what's fun about art is you can always experiment. So I did the yellow in the middle. Then I'm going to lightly come here. And do you see how I'm going on that a little bit? So we're, it's, they're blending together. And I'm going to come in there a little bit more. So it, but it's still nice and light. And I'm going to blend in there a little bit more. Then I'm going to come up with my like red range. It's like scarlet. And we're going to come along here. And I'm still doing this nice and light because I'm going to go back over it with um, the orange after. Then I'm going to do the dark. Because you want to make sure you're doing that over here by where the line, the pumpkin line is, because that's where you would see more of the shadow. So that's going to be a little bit darker. So we got all that on there. And then I'm going to go back over it with a little bit of the orange. So see how that's kind of blending that together, making it look more like it's a real pumpkin instead of a flat pumpkin. That's the difference between like shape and then form. We just the shadows. <clears throat> And I'm going to leave just a little bit of that yellow so that we can see where the sun it makes it look like that's where the sunlight is. So I'm darkening it up a little bit. And I'm going to cover up some of that yellow. And so you're going to do that on all of the those. And then my very last step and again, there's lots of different ways to do this. This is just the way that I do it. I'm going to come along here with my, my brown. And I'm going to go over those pencil lines a little bit and think about where some shadows would be. So that's going to be down here. You're going to do that a little bit darker. So then I've got some shadows on there. Um, so when you go to do your grass or whatever you want to put down here. You're also going to have shadows under each one of these pumpkins. So we're going to do that in a little bit. And you can always add a little bit more after. And I'm going to do that. Oh, that's not the green that I want. So I'm going to go over that and kind of mix those. And color all of this. And I'm not going to color 
every part of it because I have this example, but you see how that's given that some shadows and then you can come back up under here and add a few more. <clears throat> and so then I'm going to color this whole area. I guess I will color it off. And think about where the shadows would be. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's you're just learning how to do this. So and then blend. See so when you start out light, then it's easier to get dark after. You don't want to start out dark because then you have a problem doing that. So that when it, when you do all three of your pumpkins. It's going to, you can make it look like this. So we can add a sky. You can add your shadows on there. You can go, um, we can add you know, stuff. You can, I forgot to add vines on this one. I, so that's what they can look like. Another thing, so if you want to do a different kind of form, we can do something called a still life. And that's things that, like you can get a vase and you can draw it. I like to do these nice big bowls. So you're going to start, it looks like kind of like a smile, and you're going to come along here, and you're going to do um, the line along there. So when you, I like my balls to be standing on something, and then I'm going to do my table, and then, then I'm going to start filling it with fruit. You can do the same kind of fruit. You can do, like I'm going to do a pear over here, and you see how you stop? When you get to the bowl, you don't go over it. And then you're going to put a little line there so that it makes it look 3D. I'm going to do an apple. And I think pears have things like that. And we can come along here. And maybe I'll do another pear behind. So then you have that. So when you go to color this, so if you're doing a pair, we can, again, you're going to start in the middle. And I'm going to come along and do, oops, that's not the right color green. I suppose you could use neon green if you wanted to, but so I'm kind of making that going along the side of that and then see how that's blending there and my pear isn't going to be quite this green so I'm going to, cover, so I'm going to go back over it and you just have to work with it and if you're um, sometimes you get it right the first time and sometimes you don't And you can use crayons or colored pencils. I, I find colored pencils are a little easier to blend, but, you know, use whatever is easiest for you. So that's kind of what my pear is going to look like. When you do the stem, you can do some brown and then take some black and add that. You can get make that look, look more like it's blended. Um, your apple, I'm going to do some orange and some red. That's probably a little more scarlet, but we'll make it work. Just as long as it's different. So it looks like you've got a little shadow. And then I'm going to make that a little bigger. And I might add some yellow in the middle so we can kind of blend that. It's all about experimenting. Anything you're going to do in art is about experimenting, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't. Like, I'm not so sure about my apple, but we'll see. I'm going to try it with the yellow in the middle and see if that one works better. A little bit of that. And remember, again, go light, 
so you know that you've got what you want on there. Yeah, it's better. I like this one better. All about what your personal taste is. So I'm going to grab this orange and kind of fill it in. And you probably could even do that white if you want, but. So there's an apple. And then I, again, take the brown. And then it kind of adds that other little bit of pizzazz on your, your shadows. Your three-dimensional. And then you'd have some shadows down here. These would be a little bit darker. Whoops, got out of my line. And then when you do this. They start out with a little bit of black under here. I'm going to actually do my bowl, and you can do decorations on your bowl if you want, but um, I'm going to come along here with my shadows. And then you'd have some down here. And then I'm going to do some gray. So then we go over this in gray. Like soften up that line and we could put a little bit of white or something in there and when you have that in there that's automatically going to be lighter and so you're, you'll have to experiment with what colors you like And then when you're using crayons, you have to go over them quite a bit to get them to mix. Like down here, I think I need a little bit more shadows, so I'm going to add a little bit more black. Let me color this in. Oops, that's not black. So I'm going to come along here, grab some of these pencil lines. And then we got that little piece in there. Got this in here. That's the inside of the bowl. So we soften up those lines in there. So there's my bowl. Um, if you want to just make a cup to make it th look three dimensional or a vase, we can. You you have to bow this on the top, and then you're going to come here. And then just think about where your shadows are going to go. So here's what my finished um, one looks like. And so down here, you could do the same that you did with the ground, where you did the black and the shadows. And um, I did a table green, but you could do like a tablecloth. There's all kinds of cool things you can do. And then I have an example of one of my first graders, which I thought was really cute. She did a good job learning the uh, how you do the blending. So... Um, Here's a couple different examples, and have fun with it. And do keep sending me pictures. I really, really love to see all of your work that you have done. Thank you. Have a good day.